Now we have an ionic radii. So the first thing is that, that you should know that what is an ion. As you all know that atom is neutral. Like if we talk about any atom, atom is neutral because in it number of protons are always equal to number of electrons, right? So that means there is no charge on the atom. But whenever atom lose or gain electron, then it acquires a charge. And there can be two charges. It can be atom can have a positive charge or can have a negative charge. So only two kinds of possible charges are there which can be on atom. When it lose or gain electron, that is a positive and a negative charge. So I think you got it. That atom is otherwise neutral. But whenever it loses or gain, gain electron, it becomes a ion. It acquires a charge. And the char atom with a charge is called as ion. Atom with a charge is called as Ion. For example, suppose we have any atom and it loses electrons. As we know that this is a features feature for metals, right? They only lose electrons. So let us take an example of sodium. Atomic number is 11 and configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. It will lose one electron, right? In order to acquire a like a stable electronic configuration. So it will lose one electron and after losing it will form a positively charged atom which is called as cation. And here its electronic configuration becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So that means the shell gets fully filled. That means then uh, you can say the shells which are present are completely filled and it becomes stable. So for stability only it loses an electron, right? And after losing it acquire a number of positive charge which is equal to the number of electrons it will lose. For example, here it has, it, has lose, uh, it has lost only one electron, so that is why it is acquiring a one positive charge. But if, we, if uh, this sodium will lose two electrons, it will acquire a two positive charge. So in the same way, the number of electrons which it will lose, the same kind of positive charge it will acquire. Likewise, it can gain electron also. For example, we have chlorine, atomic number is 17 and configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p5. It becomes 17 now. So it needs one electron because after gaining one electron, its shell will be fully filled. That me means it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. All shells will get, get complete and it will become stable. But when it gains an electron, it acquires a negative charge. That means it forms a an ion. I think it's clear that what is ion and why atom lose or gain electrons to achieve stability and after losing and gaining electrons it becomes an ion uh, which is probably called as cation or an ion. Now uh, taking into consideration its ionic radii, so it is assumed that, that whenever the uh, positive and negative ion approach each other, they touch each other like this due to attraction, right. So <coughs> here if we want to talk about their ionic radii, it is the, suppose this is its nucleus and this is its nucleus. So it is equal to the effective distance from the center of nucleus of the ion. Effective distance from the center of nucleus uh, of the ion up to which it exerts its influence on the electron cloud. That means it is a distance from the center of nuclei to a region where uh, you can say its effect can be felt. So that much distance is called as an ionic radii, whether we are talking about cation or whether we are taking into consideration the anion. So how the ionic radii actually varies now? Ionic radii varies in the same way as the atomic radii varies along group and period, right? That means along period, the ionic radii also decreases and along group it increases the same reason which we did in atomic radii. But you need to know this like if we have a parent atom we know that whenever it loses electrons it becomes a cation right and whenever it gains electron it becomes a anion right. So if we compare the size of cation which is there is cation and anion with parent atom we'll see that cation is always smaller than parent atom. Cation is always smaller than parent atom and anion is always bigger than parent atom. Let us find out that what is the reason behind. See, if I like as I wrote a configuration for sodium, so sodium has three shells. This was nucleus, one shell, second shell and third shell. This is what was there, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, first shell, second shell and third shell. 
right and when it loses electron then its, its shells are probably 1 and 2 so that means it has lost its shell now the shell is only two shells it is having so obviously it is having two shells that means it is losing electron that means the entire shell is being lost and when the entire shell is being lost then but the nuclear charge remains the same because it is the electrons which are lost or gained right so that means the nuclear charge remains the same and the same nuclear charge is now acting on the lesser number of electrons so that means obviously it is going to attract the electrons more effectively and the size will decrease I'll write here so why the size is smaller the size is smaller because it loses its entire shell it loses its entire shell due to which the same nuclear charge now acts on lesser number of electrons thereby the size decrease that is the reason that cation is smaller as compared to the parent atom likewise we have seen that anion is bigger so we know that anion always gain electron like if we take an example of chlorine here <coughs> what was there it had actually this was nucleus it has one second and third shell so let's make one two and three shell in the first shell the two electron was there in the second it was eight right and in the third it was seven now it gains one electron so that means this seven electrons now becomes eight electrons so that means the same nuclear charge is now going to act on the more number of electrons right and moreover so that means we can say that nuclear charge actually decrease and moreover due to addition of electron to a same shell the inter electronic repulsions will increase because the electron is adding to added to a same shell so obviously the reason is that the repulsions always make the size bigger that is why anions are bigger than parent atom so i think you uh, you can compare the size of cation and anion with the parent atom it's very easy and it's very important also now we have another thing that is isoelectronic species isoelectronic species are those ions which have same number of electrons iso means same electronic means electrons so they have same number of electrons but still they differ in the nuclear charge as i have few example for you it is n3 negative o2 negative f negative na positive mg2 positive and al3 positive all of them have 10 electrons all of them that like every every at every ion in in, in it is having 10 electron but still they differ in size as we know that so let us arrange them in according to their uh, sizes as we know that cation is always smaller so we'll just look for the cation first these are the cations with positive charge so that means it has lost three electrons it has lost two and it has lost one we know that more the number of electrons being loose so obviously the style size is much smaller so that means out of these three aluminium three positive is the smallest after that we have mg2 positive and then we have na positive right so that means this is the smallest one and out of cation this is the biggest now if we talk about anions we know that anions are always bigger more is the charge and more bigger it is so obviously n3 negative will be quite bigger then we'll have uh, we are writing in the descending order now because this was the smallest then so we need to write here the smaller one only so out of them which will be smaller this is going to be much bigger so f negative will be smaller followed by o2 negative and then n3 negative so keep in mind that more is the negative charge more is the negative charge more bigger it is and more is the positive charge much smaller it is so this is how you are going to arrange by taking into consideration the uh, magnitude of the charge so i think it's clear the more is the negative charge like uh, n3 negative o2 negative n3 f negative 3 negative was quite bigger so more is the negative charge it is quite big because we know that anions are always bigger right and uh, if we talk about the positive charge then more is the positive charge 
it is much smaller right so this is how by taking into this thing into consideration you can actually arrange the isoelectronic species depending upon this uh, uh, this factor as we discussed so this was all about the ionic radii i think you got it that what is the atomic radii what is the covalent metallic and van der waal radii how it varies along group and period and you also know that what is ion how it is formed what is ionic radii how you can define it right and you also know that that how it varies along group and period and you can also compare it with the parent atoms also and you know about to how to arrange the isoelectronic species according to their size right so this is all about the ionic radii so just start practicing at home see more questions and just try to predict that which is smaller which is bigger just you need to keep do is that you need to keep these factors in mind right so this is all about the atomic radii